Hello friends, in this video we shall discuss the web server configuration. The CGI enabled servers, the most common CGI enabled server is called as the Apache server. On these Apache servers, the CGI programs, what are the CGI programs? the programs or the scripts with by default an extension of CGI, but you can you know configure your web server to uh, handle other script also as a CGI script. How that can be done is being uh, shown now. So, this, uh, these executable scripts which are called the CGI scripts are stored in a predefined or pre-configured directory which is called as a CGI directory on the CGI enabled Apache server. Generally, on a typical Apache server, the CGI directory is where www CGI dash bin. So, CGI bin, the name of the directory is the pre-configured directory which is you know marked to store the CGI scripts. By convention, as I told, the CGI files have an extension .cgi, but you can keep your files with Python. You know that the Python files are extension .py. Some other scripts also can be, uh, you know, treated as CGI scripts. For example, .pl, etc., .sh in case of the shell scripts. So, how to first of all, how to enable CGI on the Apache server, and then how to ask your Apache server to treat the .py file also as the CGI script. First is, first of all, on your server, the server's configuration is stored in a configuration file. Normally, the name of the file is httpd.conf. So, you have to look for this file. And inside that file, inside this file, see that this particular block which you know mentions or which uh, you know enables the execution of CGI. So, this is a block directory equal to CGI bin. The most important you know statement is this options exec execute CGI order allow first if it is there allow otherwise deny allow from all. So, this is the code which is necessary in the http.conf. So, if it is not present, you have to see that it is there. This is first. And then secondly, in order that your CGI enabled web server treats the .py file as a CGI script, you have to write, you have to you ensure that this particular line is present in your http.conf. Add handler CGI script dot py. So, these two configuration settings are necessary in your web server's uh, configuration file. I will now demonstrate you practically. I will open the Apache server's http.conf, show you that these are enabled so that the CGI script is uh, can be executed. I will show you an example. Now, in order to enable CGI on your Apache server, you have to do certain modifications to the configuration file and the name of the configuration file is httpd.conf. So, open that file and look for the you know options of CGI bin directory. So, let me find that particular block in which this CGI bin directory options are mentioned. So, this is the corresponding block. So, this block is here. So, this was the original configuration of the CGI bin directory. Now, I want to change it and instead of 
options none i am mentioning options exec cgi so you have to ensure that your con http.conf file contains this block enabled into it now secondly you also have to now that you are going to execute the python script as, as the cgi script so you have to mention that the .py extension file also must be used as a uh, you know valid cgi script so for that you have to add an add handler statement so let us find that in the so here the by default add handler cgi script is cgi so the dot cgi file is the default cgi script extension so along with that in addition to that you also want the dot py file should also be treated as a cgi file so you add this line below which below the cgi line so add these two modifications save this httpd.conf file and restart your apache server now it will be in a position to execute the cgi scripts